it was like this this beacon of light and uh, I loved it. Shock, anger and heartbreak tonight at an emotional gathering to remember a man devoted to his community gunned down while volunteering at an event meant to prevent violence. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher live now in Wilmington where friends and loved ones are searching for answers to this tragic loss. Michelle. Mark, this was someone who, by all accounts, really showed up for his community in various ways. And tonight, it was that community that showed up and showed love for him. He was like this, this beacon of light. 46-year-old Jose Joe Quesada, being remembered as someone who shined bright in the community of Wilmington. Candles flickered in the darkness tonight as a couple hundred people came together for a vigil to remember his life a day after it was tragically taken. He's just one of those guys that'll... When you're down, he'll lift you back up with whether it be something funny or just just uh, he always had the right words. Quezada was gunned down steps away from the city summer night lights violence prevention event Thursday night. This video of him on the grill was captured at the event. A short time later, he was gunned down. Mr. Quezada had uh, kind of walked out to the sidewalk, uh, possibly to take a break or something like that. And these two cowards snuck out of the uh, the darkness and uh, essentially ambushed him. Police are now asking for the public's help to locate two suspects who sped away in an unknown vehicle. His neighbors, friends, and family are asking why. Everybody who who have asked me about him, they, you know, they, they can't believe it because they're like, you know, why him? You know, he was always so dedicated with the community. I still can't put it together. It's like, why would someone try to hurt these people? Quezada leaves behind his wife and three sons. He was also a sports coach and a leader in his community. People that were victims of the same thing that just happened to him, he was always having fundraisers for their families and helping them, not just gang violence, but, you know, maybe a car wreck or, or somebody that died of cancer. He always led the groups that helped raise money to help people pay for funerals or to help them out. And, uh, She's uh, just, just a real loss for this community. Certainly a lot of heavy hearts tonight in this community of Wilmington. Now, in a press conference earlier, police did indicate this could be gang violence. They are asking anyone with information to come forward and contact homicide detectives with LAPD South Bureau. We're live tonight in Wilmington. I'm Michelle Fisher, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Michelle, thank you. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.